makes my cookie crumble? A dessert dilemma. It's true, it's so sad. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys some sweet solutions that are so quick and easy, they are perfect for you in a pinch. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hi, hey, Michael, how's it How, going? It's going great. Um, I made this cake as an early birthday present for you, uh -huh. but the middle of it sunk. I mean, I am uh. mortified, what do I do? Clinton, that looks like you actually punched that cake. It does, doesn't it? He gets, so, he gets angry with this cake. Happy so birthday. I think this happens very often, people um, make a cake, the, a, a, pro, a, a good way to do this is when to help it from not falling is when the cake is done, turn your oven completely off and let it cool at a slightly warmer temperature. When it goes right from hot to cold, sometimes it'll drop really quick. But if it does drop, there's a couple things that you can do. One is I like, I, I, I like to make uh, these really super ju juicy, moist cakes. Mm -hmm. So to fill in the hole, I'm gonna use vanilla cream, peaches, and a little bit of almond. Yeah, but to nice. really kind of up the game of my cake too, I make a little honey simple syrup. I pour it right over this cake when it's warm, which is gonna, it's gonna make it moist and it's gonna plump it a little bit. Oh, wow. oh, and, and so this is almost like a pound cake. Oh. And this is all going to soak in to really? the cake, yep. Oh, it's like, like, this is like a, baklava. It's, it's like a, a Polish honey cake. Oh, nice. Um, my grandfather used to make this all the time when we were kids. It was a, like a very simple white cake, and to up it up, he would pour this honey simple syrup over it, and it was, he, he mm. called it Polish honey cake. It was absolutely well, delicious. Drinking it right up, all right. That's so that's gonna suck it up. It takes about 15 minutes to suck it up. You pop it right out of your pan, and you can see the, the dent right there, the hole, the Clinton hole, and then I'm <laughs> going to... <laughs> the, the, it's big. Uh, I guess you could call it whatever you want. Good. And I you just call it a put, sunken cake. I feel funny inside. You put, you put a little bit of this vanilla cream in the middle. I didn't sweeten the cream that much because of the honey um, in, the, in the simple syrup. Beautiful fresh peach. And then we take whatever seasonal fruit you have available. I so love good. stone fruits this time of year. And some almonds on top. Dude, that looks amazing. Yeah. That is beautiful. And Fantastic. you have my paps. Polish honey cake. And it's nice it's that. super rich because of, of the simple syrup. It's incredibly moist. Clinton Kelly, tell me what you think. I love it. Okay. Right. okay. Carla, what's your problem? All right, hey, Michael. So I made these brownies from that recipe that you gave me. Remember that recipe you gave me for these brownies? Carla, it was your recipe. No, it continue. was your recipe. Right. And, and, and I wanted to serve them to guests tonight, but they're freaking dry as I don't know what. And they're all breaking apart. So, Carla Hall, there is no reason to panic. I mean, you are a pastry queen. You should know better than having a bunked up recipe like this for brownies. But th this is two things. If your brownies are dry or after you portion the brownies and you have all these mm -hmm. end pieces like this and they're a bit on the dry side, what I love to do is I just, I, I make a cream, a little bit of instant espresso, mm -hmm. a little bit of sour cream, and then we just layer it out with the dry brownies, which are gonna make it moist as we go. So oh, I take- that's so great. And coffee goes so well with chocolate. Chocolate and coffee. You're not allowed to eat any of this, but everybody else is. <laughs> and then we just layer it out, and another layer, and so forth and so on, and this will moisten the brownies as they sit, and you have a beautiful, <laughs> simple... Carla doesn't do that well with caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, tell me what you think. It's delicious. Right. Mm. And I like the sour cream in there because it, it works off the yeah. sweetness of the brownies. Hey, Simon, I was making some pancakes this morning and I really overestimated how much batter is because my kids went to college and left me all alone. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Is there a way I can use it for dessert tonight? Well, tomorrow I'll be over for pancakes. Fantastic. But for this evening, what I like to do when I have extra batter like this, and it could be either a pancake or a waffle batter, is I love to do this with bananas. Take a ripe banana, split it, quarter it. You dip it right in your extra batter. Drop your fry basket. Yes. And we are gonna make like banana beignets. Ooh. So Ooh, that sounds good. They go right into a fryer. This. Word about prepared fryer already oh, for you when you. We came always over. have this, and you could do this obviously on a stovetop, 360 degrees, so they're golden brown. A mixture of two parts sugar, one part cinnamon. You toss them all together in the bowl, like so, just like you're like hanging out in New Orleans. Tell me what you think of that, Chef. Lazé le banana roulette. Oh. Super simple. Kids love them. Life is good.